I now invite Jenny Byrne, a graduating student from the class of 2022, to give a vote of thanks on behalf of the graduating cohort. Good morning, guests, graduates and platform party. I would like to start by thanking the university for giving me the honour of speaking here today. So, what did Staffordshire University do for me? It encouraged me to believe I could. I am honoured to share the journey of Class of 2022 and what a journey it's been. Sitting in a room full of strangers in September 2019, being told it'll go quickly, there's normally a birth, being told we'd experience imposter syndrome at some point. Most of us look like rabbits caught in headlights, but little did we know all these statements were true. However, nobody mentioned a pandemic. I would like to thank our lecturers who got us through the challenging times that many of us faced during the unprecedented time of the pandemic, working from home, lectures online, homeschooling, juggling family and placements online, but somehow we did it and here we are graduating today. My work life began as a dental nurse, but after looking into different people's mouths for 30 years, I decided it was time for a change. It wasn't an easy decision. I was a single mum with two teenagers. I'd just lost my dad to cancer. I'd had a few knocks along the way and imagined I was going to be the oldest person at university. But when I mentioned to my friends and family the crazy idea that I wanted to leave my career, a job, to go to university to become a social worker, they all encouraged me and believed I could. My academic experience was leaving school at 16 with my GCSEs and working as a trainee dental nurse before qualifying at 18. From then, I achieved a successful career in, with several dental qualifications and the last in 2014. So to put myself in the position of higher education was absolutely crazy, or so I thought. You see, where I came from, university wasn't thought to be possible. So I spent a lot of my life wondering if I could. But following a few phone calls, I, I got a place at Staffordshire University through the clearing process, organised my student finance, and before I knew it, I handed in my notice. It was quite a month. My daughter also started her degree at Staffordshire University on the same day as me. We drove in together, not a clue what lay ahead, but we both graduate this week, and it's fair to say it's been quite a journey. It's the most fabulous proud mum-daughter moment ever. I remember in one of my first lecturers hearing, write an essay, a thousand words, use Harvard referencing. I went home and cried, I can't do this, I'm not clever enough, and I'll give it until Christmas. But with true grit and determination and help from an old friend, I managed to pass every assignment. And in my final year, I got a first in my dissertation. Over the three years, I've had the joy of meeting many amazing people with their own stories, and I made my friends for life, Becky and Kate. I will also fondly remember lecturers Becky Ford, Tony Bruner, Steph Jones, Simon Bratt, and of course, John Paul King, who without their support and encouragement, I don't think I'd be graduating here today. I sat in lecturers, sometimes bewildered, but a lot of the time captivated by what I'd heard. What stuck with me are some little captions. No decision about me without me, and always check the bloody boyfriend. My cohort will know what I mean. <coughs> I think I speak on behalf of every graduate in this room when I say a massive thank you to our lecturing staff. So for me, in the words of Rocky Balboa, it's not about how hard you get hit, it's about hard, how hard you get hit and keep moving forward. 
how much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. And that's me. No matter how many times this course knocked me, and it did, I just kept pushing forward. And that's why I'm standing here today. In the end, with the encouragement of my amazing family, friends and partner, I believed I could. And if anyone can, if I can, anyone can. So finally, congratulations, class of 2022. Please join me in showing our gratitude to our lecturers, technical and support staff. Let's make as much noise as we can to show our appreciation.